Timmy Keynes, uh, Sanchez, and Bumgarner. We're going to stay with what we had uh, in the series against the Yankees. Cliff Lee, CJ, uh, Kobe Lewis, and Tommy Hunter. I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast, and that was both managers naming their rotations for the upcoming World Series. The Giants worked out at their ballpark on Monday, while the Rangers spent the day traveling to San Francisco. Tuesday will welcome in another workout day, as well as a media day, all leading up to Game 1 of the 106th Fall Classic on Wednesday at AT&T Park. I've made a change, one change in the coaching staff. I'm not going to be bringing Dave Island back. While the Rangers and Giants prep for the World Series, other teams were preparing for next season on Monday as the Yankees announced the release of their pitching coach, Dave Island. Another question facing the 2011 Yankees could be age, especially concerning their core four players of Jorge Posada, Mariano Rivera, Derek Jeter, and Andy Pettit. With Jorge Posada being the only member of the group to not hit free agency this offseason, the Yankees may be faced with some tough decisions. We're all getting older in here, and you know we all still feel that we can do it. Now, maybe we can't quite do it at the same pace as we once did it, but I think we can all still do it. Um, and I think our players can do it too, but maybe not quite at the same pace they did when they were 25 years old. One of the Phillies' tough decisions this offseason will be whether or not to sign Jason Worth, who will become a free agent this offseason. Bills general manager Ruben Amaro Jr. addressed the Worth situation at a press conference on Monday. Do we have enough money to do it? Uh, I think, and do we would like, like to bring him? Who would we like to bring him back? I think uh, the answers to both questions is yes. Um, however, That'll kind of depend on what the ask is, and, and uh, you know, ultimately what what uh, that how that will affect us with uh, other possible moves we would have to make to do that. And the Blue Jays made John Farrell their man on Monday, hiring him as their manager. Farrell spent the last four seasons as the pitching coach for the Boston Red Sox. Going through this interview process, it became very clear uh, of the direction that this organization is heading. Uh, the resources that are available uh, to support a club that is going to compete and compare with New York and Boston in time. Uh, so those were all clear selling points to me. For more on these stories and for complete postseason coverage, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.